Yeah, hello YouTube. This is Kraut68 from Germany. And this is a video especially made for Smoken Briar, who was uh, showing a video uh, when he was looking forward to smoke his first pipe after a long cold he had. And he was um, smoking his pipe with a 9mm filter. And in this video, he said that. He had trouble with uh, the pound filters, which were not fitting uh, nicely into his stem, and therefore he was using the uh, the Meerschaum filters of uh, White Elephant, because they were a little larger and they filled perfectly into the opening of the stem where the filters go in a 9mm pipe. Now, um, Obviously, he must have bought some 9mm filters by Fallon. Um, here is what they come in uh, when they come from the company. So that's the, that's the little parcel. That's the smallest package. That's 40 filters. And uh, this is what they look like. Um, they're an active charcoal. Active charcoal. Wow, what a word <laughs> for, for a foreigner like me. An active charcoal filter. Um, they have uh, a porcelain cap which goes towards the the pipe side, and they have a blue cap which is made of plastic which goes to the stem side or, or the mouth side of your pipe. Right? Uh, don't confuse that, right? Because uh, otherwise it's um, it's not a pleasant experience because the cap probably becomes too hot. No good, right? So um, remember always the blue side of the fountain goes towards your mouth. The same is true for absorber, same principle. This is an active charcoal filter. Absorber has got a green cap, right? So if you don't like blue, you have to buy absorber, right? So this is what the absorber filter looks like. I hope you can see this. So this is absorber. active charcoal filter and that's the red fallen oops Dr. Pal filter right um, uh, when it comes to active charcoal filters I think Fallon is actually where it's at right that's the the filter you would like to buy if you want to buy an active charcoal filter right uh, now Smoke and Briar said um, his filter didn't fit his found filter, and uh, but there is a trick. Um, okay, so what do we need? We need the um, the filter, right? So here's our filter, and we have to work on the blue end, right? Um, and this is what we do: we take the the, the mouthpiece, right, of um, of uh, um, of the pipe, right? And then what we do is we the blue end we push in the blue end with the tip, the mouthpiece. I hope you can see this in my video. We just push this in a few millimeters, nothing large, right? No big violence needed here. Just a little pressure, right? Um, okay. So what does this do? It gives us a little paper rim. And this paper rim, we can actually have to do this way around because I'm right-handed, right? So we can crimp. So you can actually move this outside so you get, let me try this with my other hand, right? So you get something like a trumpet end on the blue end, right? You push the little the paper a little bit outside. I don't. I'm not quite sure whether you can see the effect, right? So what you see a little lip that has been crimped. And the cool thing now is, you put the filter in here, push it in, turn it upside down, and it stays where it should stay. And that means that the ends where the blue end is of the filter is closing off. Um, the filter chamber, and that means all the smoke will go through the filter and not around it. 
So that's the crimping trick, right? Uh, that will make any active charcoal filter that has a, a, a cap, a plastic cap like the, the found filter with its um, blue cap or the absorber filter with its green cap, that will make it stay in your pipe and fit perfectly, right? So it's um, Vorsprungde Technik, right, as we say in Germany, right? The little trick you apply. Now, um, uh, Smoke and Briar, he was smoking this kind of filter. This is uh, the White Elephant Natural Meerschaum filter, right? Um, and if you cut it up um, and fill the filter into a nosing glass for which I use to nose my malt whiskey, so let's do this. We can actually see the the white granulates, right? So this is Meerschaum granulates, and what it does basically, it absorbs a lot of moisture, right? And <laughs> to me, having a Meerschaum filter in the Meerschaum pipe, this should result in a super dry smoke, right? So if you hate wetness in your in your pipe, then it won't get any better, right? So this is the maximum you can take out, right? The pipe, the Meerschaum pipe already will absorb a lot of the the moisture and then of course the filter will do the trick as well. Now um, we can actually buy another filter by White Elephant which is called the Supermix. Again there is your White Elephant, if you can see it, but it says what it is on the... it says Super mix. What's the difference? Well, we need our nosing glass again. Okay, so we empty the the, the filter into the nosing glass and not into the computer, otherwise this is going to be disastrous. Right? And what you see is that this is a mixture of active charcoal. Um, and the Meerschaum granulate. So that is actually, I think, uh, the best of both worlds. Right here, you're getting uh, your filter. So the, the 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 active charcoal will just take out more stuff you don't want to have in your pipe, nicotine and whatever is bothering you. Um, uh, I think it's the perfect filter. Right. Uh, I've tested all those filters. I've tested the Absorber, the Fallon, the Meerschaum, and the Supermix. And I have to say, after smoking 150 Supermixes uh, versus 150 Fallon versus 100 Absorber and 100 um, Meerschaums, this is my recommendation right? to you, uh, 9 millimeters newbies. Right? Uh, if you can get your hand on the Supermix, by White Elephant, uh, which has uh, Meerschaum and active charcoal. I think that's where it's at. The box will hold 150, and in Germany it's around about 15 euros, right? I hope, <laughs> I hope it's available in the United States. Otherwise, uh, you might have to send a cry out, and we will send you care parcels as you did in the old days to save our lives after World War II, and we uh, send you a care parcel with uh, with Supermix. Uh, probably can do a swap, right? You put in some of your fantastic uh, uh, pipe tobacco, <laughs> um, which is so yummy and which is so difficult to get over here in Europe, right? So that's my filter show, right? Remember, if your found filter doesn't fit, crimp. The blue end and make it fit. Right. Sometimes we can make things fit. Right. So I hope uh, this was of any use to you. Uh, keep the pipe smoking, and uh, maybe I could tempt a few people to uh, become uh, nine millimeter fans. Okay. So take care. This was Crowd 68 from Germany about filters.